When I say knots, what do you think? Boy Scouts? Sailing? Shoelaces? Well, there's also an entire subject in math devoted to knots. Knot theory, a part of the field of topology. Topology is like traditional Euclidean geometry, but with the rules bent a little. In topology, this is a circle, but this is also a circle, and this is one too. Objects can still be congruent after smooth deformations, stretching, bending, and twisting. What you can't do is break or glue. In knot theory, these circles are also projections of the unknot, the knot with zero crossings. One way we can distinguish knots is by their crossing number, the minimum possible number of crossings. This is a projection of the trefoil. Knot diagrams are called projections and are what the shadow would look like, but with the crossings shown. It's also called 3-1 because it is the first knot with a crossing number of 3. The trefoil is also the only unique knot with a crossing number of 3, but we need a proof. What about this knot? That would make 2, right? How can we tell if they're the same? In 1927, Kurt Reitemeister developed the Reitemeister moves. Using the idea that you can stretch, bend, and twist, he identified three moves that can tangle or untangle knots. The first is a simple twist. The second is moving one string over or under another. And the final, most complicated move is to move a string over or under a crossing. Using these moves, we can diagram a proof showing that the mystery knot is really a different projection of the trefoil. This is one pro possible proof. In knot diagrams, we have to know which moves we use, how many, and draw the projections after each change. We start with the mystery knot, moving the right string over with two type 2s. Then we go over the crossings with three type 3s, untwist the ends with two type 2s, do one type 1 and a planar isotopy, the fancy term for a smooth deformation, and voila, the trefoil. While the crossing number and Reitemeister moves can make basic distinctions, more complex knots require alternative methods. Methods that can prove this knot and this knot are not the same, even though they have the same crossing number. Knots can be found in nature, in the structure of both DNA and the sun's corona, but they also have potential technological applications. How about counterfeiting? Could we use knots to make money more secure? Some professors suggest that in the future, when quantum computers are more prevalent, quantum money will be encoded with knots. Instead of today's verification methods, an algorithm will check the knots on each virtual dollar and cent. Whereas calculus and geometry are over 2,000 years old, knot theory is less than 200. With so many unanswered questions, instead of pondering why you should explore knot theory, ask yourself, why not?